guys, it's Elisha and I am here to do my favorites for the month of June. I haven't done favorites forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Like, I probably didn't even do a favorites video all year. Like, I have been loving certain items that I've noticed I use almost every day now and I've been loving these items so I wanted to go ahead and do a favorites video since I haven't done one in so long. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, my first hair item I actually got in my glam bag when I went to the Ipsy Generation Beauty party that I went to like in the winter time. It was already a while ago. But the stuff that I'm going to show you guys has been amazing. I love it. I don't want to run out of it. I need to find where I can purchase it because I need this item in my life. And that is E Salon. It's just a small bottle. I don't know if this is a regular size or if I just got like a small like sample size, a, a big sample size. It is called East Salon Perfect Ending Leave-In Conditioner. I wash my hair every other day, so I use it every other day after I shower. Um, and I put it in my hair wet. And it doesn't leave my hair with any residue. doesn't leave my hair sticky. It just leaves my hair nice and smooth. And basically, it's a leave-in conditioner. It is lightweight, nourishment, smooth and hydrates hair, and protects color from all hair types. And since my hair is kind of like ombre, balayage, and I do it myself, so who knows if I'm damaging my hair, this stuff has been amazing. I love it. I just, I really, really love this product. Once I brush my hair out, I just put about a little size in my hand, rub it in between, and then I flip my head over and rub it into the ends of my hair. And that is it. And a lot goes a long way. So this has been my everyday product for like the last couple of months. So that's the first hair product. The second one is, I have naturally curly hair. I haven't worn my hair naturally curly in a long time. I will show you guys a picture right here somewhere of what my hair looks like naturally curly when I do wear it naturally curly. And the reason why I stopped wearing it curly was because I think, you know, when I would wear it curly back in a couple years ago, I always felt like I had to do something with the front of my hair because my hair like grows all kinds of different ways on my hairline and so I always felt like I had to push or like you know pin the front of the hair back or do something with it that I couldn't just let it be and just like wear it down naturally like I felt like I had to pin my hair back like the front part of my hair. So recently I tried doing my hair curly again and the way I get my curls is by just using, I didn't even have any like curling um, products so I had to go out and buy curling products. All of my family has curly hair so like my mom, my cousins, like all of us, we all have the same type of texture hair where we're able to wear it curly and able to wear it straight or curled with a curl iron like this. And so I asked my cousins what they recommended because I didn't even know what to use. And they recommended this one product and they said that it worked really well. Since I am a fan and trust my products, I went ahead and picked it up. And that is this, I lost the lid. But it's really cool because it's a pump. And it is a shaping gel cream. And honestly, this does not give my hair that crunchy, hard, you know, look, I don't like that look. I don't like the hairspray, like crunchy curl look at all. I used to rock that back in junior high and high school when I thought that was cool. And it is a not cool look. So I don't do that to my hair anymore. And I wanted my hair to just be basically just a natural bouncy waves and curls. And my hair is really curly. I've been blow drying my hair straight and straightening my hair or curling my hair for so long now that it really, I knew it was gonna take some time for my hair to get back to its natural form. And so I had to try it out a couple of times. So I tried this product, I love it. I use about probably like a quarter size. And I just scrunch it into my hair with my head upside down. Anytime I do my hair curly, I apply the product with my hair upside down, like my head upside down. And I really do like it, and it was super affordable, and yeah, I like this product a lot. 
Well, what's really cool was my mom, since she does have curly hair, she has all kinds of curly products. And she had told me a product that she uses that she likes and she had an extra bottle and told me I could try it. And that is this product right here. I don't even know what it's called. I don't know what the brand is. These are the two products I use to uh, apply to my hair for curling cream because my curls don't form naturally like they will but I'll have kind of like a little bit of frizz if I don't put product into my hair. I also use my same oils and um, you know my moisturizing cream with my hair curly. I still like even though my hair doesn't look as dry as it would if I was to straighten it I still like to use some type of oil or moisturizer for my hair as well but that's what I've been using for my hair when it's curly and I've been loving the results I'm excited to wear my hair curly a lot more now because I finally embrace my natural curls this is the last hair product and that is this little baby right here she is a little sample size of a dry shampoo i have dry shampoo but i'm almost out of the one that i really really like so i started using this one just to give my other one a break and i like it it doesn't leave my hair sticky it doesn't leave a residue it works really well and i've been loving this for dry shampoo Okay, so now the next items are going to be about facial items, and I had a really bad experience with Proactive this past couple, like, couple months. It happened to me twice, and oh my gosh, never again. I was given the Proactive, the whole, like, package in my Ipsy bag that I got, and it's not the ipsy bag it's like the goodie swag bag we got you know since we are youtubers and i went to this event we were given so many products to try well i know Pro proactive is a good brand and it uh, works really well for people to have acne i don't have acne i don't have acne prone skin but because i had it and because it was for free and because it's such a good product i was using the proactive step two i believe it was which has small texturizing so that it's fully your face well i had a really bad experience with it my face didn't do well with it at all after about a good couple weeks of using it i literally looked like my face was burnt and it was all around here if you guys remember me snapchatting about it because it was so noticeable it was so embarrassing it was so ugly and it was also very painful i did read on the bottle that you know that could happen i guess it's just way too strong for me so i stopped using it and but it was the only facial cleanser that i had and i was like what am i gonna use so i went through my bag again that i a product that i hadn't really tried yet and i found an item i was so lucky i found this item this is from pacifica and it is the kale detox deep cleansing face wash it removes makeup cleanses and tones it has coconut water clay and super greens powerhouse antioxidants oil and acne prone skin type and sulfate free this stuff is so amazing if any of you know where i could buy it let me know i'm thinking i should look in target because it also is 100 percent vegan and cruelty free um it doesn't foam it's sulfate free and it's so stinking smoothing to my skin like my skin loves this stuff i'm really sad because i tried to use like the least amount possible because i knew the bottle was gonna go fast and i'm almost done with this but i want it so bad i want a full bottle of it it literally looks and feels like an oil and it's not very thick at all and once you start massaging it into your skin it kind of foams up and then it just leaves your skin feeling super smooth and silky and this is amazing it really did help my skin heal and i found this magical bottle oh my goodness she was a lifesaver basically it's a water sleeping mask and i was like water sleeping mask like how do you sleep with a mask on but this is what it looks like once you apply it to your skin it literally like your skin soaks it up and it's just dry it's not like 
it doesn't feel like anything. It just, you know, your, your skin is just dry. It doesn't feel oily or anything. So I started using this and literally the next day, my skin was completely healed from, from it being burnt from the proactive. Now I have nothing against proactive at all. I just personally cannot use it because it's not for my skin type, be prone skin. So, hmm. oh, my traps is gone. This is also another favorite, the soft lips love it but yeah i've been using this um as um my moisturizer at night time like i said i don't give myself enough time to get myself ready for work other than do my eyebrows throw on some mascara make sure my hair is done in some way or another but i do like to wear um a primer that way it just kind of mattifies my skin and makes my pores less noticeable and i just kind of feel like it just gives my complexion a better look not so like just dead so i went back to my old and faithful and this is the baby skin by maybelline and i have a little bit left and i just used this one or the l'oreal one but i've been going with this one the most um the other products I've been using every day for my makeup, non-makeup routine for work have been this mascara and this brow gel. Let me tell you about this mascara first. It did come in that bag as well. I will be purchasing this if I run out of it. And, and this is the Lash Terrifica. I love this mascara because honestly, when you're not wearing makeup with it, it just makes my lashes stand out like as if I had, you know, just naturally dark lashes that curled. Because I think it looks a little silly if you have like a ton of mascara on and you don't wear any makeup. But yeah, I use this for my, my mascara when I'm not wearing makeup because I have no lashes. Like they don't show up and they're too light. So I gotta wear something. So this is what I've been using. I use as far as my brows go is sometimes I just skip you know, filling them in and I just use this and sometimes I go ahead and use my Anastasia brow gel along with this. I have pretty much used up my brow gel and this pretty much does the same thing. And this is by Essential, Make Me Brow. And it's almost the same thing as the Benefit one. And it's just a little wand and it comes out brown and you just go over your eyebrows with it. And then I also go over it with a spoolie and your brows are done and filled in and it keeps them in place so this product i've been loving 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 and last but not least since we're talking about brows is this has been my favorite tool for my brows i stopped going to get my brows threaded a couple months ago because i had a bad experience the lady literally took off a chunk of my eyebrow and i was so pissed off so i didn't trust going to get my eyebrows done again anymore so now what i do is every day if not every day every other day i use this little shaver to shave all of um the underneath part of my eyes so from here down of my eyebrow i shave up on top and i shave the middle part and it just cleans up your brows so nicely without making them irritated and then whatever it didn't catch by shaving it i use my tweezers and then i also trim my brows a little bit if you guys want a brow tutorial let me know because i've been doing my own brows now this whole summer but this has been my magic tool and i bought this for I came with a set of three and I would think it was like just like 250. The only thing I will say about this is that obviously if you're shaving it, they're gonna grow back faster, but it doesn't bother me. I like to keep the bottom part of my lid clean and then I just clean up, you know, the actual shape of my brow with my tweezers. So I pretty much shave from here down and then shave over here, shave up on top, shave right here, right here, and then the rest I do with my tweezers. So that so that completes my June favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I haven't done a favorites in forever, but this was fun. You can let me know you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are new. It would mean the world to me. And, and if you tried any of these products, let me know. If you have any recommendations, let me know as well. And I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out, Beast Sprout. Mwah.